Hello YouTube and welcome back to Friday Minis. Today, we're going to look at an interesting little graphics trick called mip mapping. This particular trick actually happens the most in 3D rendering. This means things like games, things like if you're working with a 3D program. And to understand this, we actually kind of have to take a look at how basically 3D rendering works. As you know, in a virtual 3D world, basically all we have are lots of polygons, lots of surfaces, planes, and those generally don't look very pretty on their own. One workaround for that is to actually create what's called a texture map. And the idea is, if I have a 3D object, I can actually wrap a picture around its surface so as to make it look like, you know, that is what its surface looks like. As mentioned, texture maps are images. And in a complex 3D scene, Basically, there are a lot of texture maps. The issue that crops up then is performance. What if you have a whole lot of polygons in a particular scene? Each of them are texture mapped with extremely high resolution textures. What's going to happen is, chances are that scene is going to take a long time to render. In applications that demand high performance, like a game, you can't really just take your time and slowly draw out all the textures. And that is when mid mapping actually comes into play. First, here's where the concept came from. Now, let's say I have a textured object, but it's really far away in the scene. And now, because the object is so far away, the texture of the object is only going to show up in a very small part of your screen. What this means then is, it's not really necessary to load that huge high resolution texture and then shrink it down to that couple of pixels. And that is why mid mapping is used. Here's how mid mapping works. Basically, you have high resolution texture Within the same file, this high resolution texture is actually halved and saved in the same file and then halved again and saved in the same file. Essentially what you have at the end of the day is an image with a high resolution texture and lower resolution copies just sitting around in the same image. How does that help in performance? Well, when an object is far away, your 3D program doesn't actually load the high resolution texture. Instead, it goes for a lower resolution texture and uses that instead. You of course cannot tell that, you know, in fact, the full fidelity of that texture isn't there, seeing as that it's so far away you couldn't tell either way. Now, this might not sound like a lot, but when you have a whole lot of polygons in a scene, and when you originally had to load huge full resolution textures for each of them, and then now you don't, there is actually a performance increase. Things might even look nicer. The reason for that, of course, is when you actually shrink down the image while doing the mid-mapping process, you can actually choose your own method of smoothing. Anyway, that's all there is for today's episode of Friday Minis. As always, don't forget to like, comment, favorite, subscribe, and follow me on Twitter. You're watching 0612TV.